Hey guys, all right, so we are doing something a little bit different today. Welcome, thank you, especially if you are a guest for stopping by. I hope you enjoy yourself and I hope that you subscribe and join the community. So, we're not talking into the Badlands today. We are back on our superhero game today. Yes, we do love superheroes on this channel, so we're gonna talk season two of Iron Fist. Now, I purposefully did not do this when it came out, which was a couple of weeks ago. I know typically what happens is people binge watch the whole season, and if you are a creator like I am, you try and get on YouTube as fast as you can to put that video up to maximize the views. I have no idea what the views will be like on this, but that's okay because this is really about me expressing how I feel, and hopefully if you guys have something to say, you will join me in some discussion about this. So, my overall uh, opinion of Iron Fist to hated it, the problem with Iron Fist is the same problem that it had with season one, and that is the fact that Finn Jones cannot pull off the moves. And if you have an Iron Fist that cannot fight, then it destroys the whole show. Listen, I'm going to tell you, I think that so central is the martial arts execution in Iron Fist. I think it's actually even more important than the storyline. That's what I think. And normally I don't say that. Because normally I think that if you're going to have a good show, it has to have good writing and acting as well as action, if it's a show like Iron Fist. But for the purposes of Iron Fist and who he is, Marvel's quintessential martial artist, by the way, Marvel has him ranked as number two in the Marvel Universe in terms of martial arts ability, then you got to have a good martial artist playing Iron Fist. And Finn Jones cannot pull off the moves. Now, I will tell you that part of the difficulty here is that normally when we see Iron Fist execute and different things like the comic books and things like that, the, the style of martial arts that he's doing is actually a Chinese style of martial arts, which is a lot harder to pull off on screen than some of the other more... I don't even want to call them rigid styles because that's inaccurate. But some of the other forms of martial arts like karate or taekwondo, which are much more linear in their movements... But Chinese martial arts tend to be much more circular in their movements, much more angular in their strikes, and they should look that way when we see them on screen. It's not what we get from Iron Fist. Iron Fist looks like a white belt. Yeah, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Iron Fist looks like, look, he looks like I looked when I first started in martial arts. He looks terrible on screen. So if you're going to sell us that this is the immortal Iron Fist, again, the quintessential martial artist, then this guy's got to be able to fight. He can't be, be, be getting beat up by common street thugs and all that kind of stuff because it, nobody believes it. We're talking Iron Fist. So in season two, what we have here is essentially Davos trying to take the Iron Fist mantle from Danny Rand and this whole weird thing about... Um, getting a tattoo of the dragon and somehow uh, the, 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 the old tattoo of an, an iron fist from the past and them grinding it up and using that to make ink to create a new tattoo and now Davos has the iron... What is going on here? Every, everything in this is bad. They have severely strayed from the iron fist of the comics Almost none of what they do follow suit to what we're used to or what we're accustomed to for those of us who are Iron Fist fans when we were kids. It doesn't follow any of that. So it's clear the show has tried to do something different. And I think that that is the case because of the reviews that season one of Iron Fist got, which weren't really good. So I feel like the show is kind of trying to take some license to pull us into a story so that we would be interested. But it's still awful. But not even just the fighting is awful. Even the story is awful. Now, I will admit the whole Beecham storyline is kind of interesting. But outside of that, it, it all just seems so ridiculous. There's nothing engaging or good about season two of Iron Fist. And I know I might be coming down hard on it. And if that's the case, then that's fine. Listen, you're free. You know how we are on this channel. You are free to express your points of view. And if you disagree with me, then that is great. Good stuff. This is just my opinion. And I thought it was awful. I just had to get that off of my chest because I was watching Netflix the other day and it popped up on my screen as I was scrolling through. And I thought, you know what, I got, I got to get on and say something about it. Actually, I want to know what you think, because some of you guys might have loved this. And if you think so, then please tell me what was good about this show. Man, listen. So apparently, like, the guy loses his confidence. He loses the Iron Fist. And then he gets trained by Colleen Wynn? 
No, I'm not. There's no. I'm not coming down on Colleen Wynn. I mean, she's fine. I think Marvel has her ranked at maybe like number four or five. But how, how the heck is Iron Fist going to be trained by Colleen Wynn? She's not even on his level. It was just awful. Something has to happen. At this point, I kind of feel like they really can't get rid of Finn Jones because people like him in the role. So you can't really replace him, I think, without damaging the whole series. But I'm almost to the point where I say, listen, it's a wash. I put something on Twitter to say, I don't even know if it can be saved. So listen, this is a short video, right? A lot shorter than most of mine. I just had to get on and say some things about this. And I'm so tempted, but I won't do it. I'm so tempted to show a clip from Into the Badlands. And we're not talking Into the Badlands today. We're talking Iron Fist. But that clip will show you what good martial arts execution should look like. And we don't see that in Iron Fist. I don't know what they're going to do, man. I don't know what they're going to do. I suppose there will be a season three, but something has to change because it can't go on like this. It was awful. That's all I got. So that's it, you guys. Listen, what did you think about this? Maybe you enjoyed Iron Fist. Let's get some discussion going on in the comments below. I just thought this was terrible for so many different reasons. And I'm done. So this is not even really a review. It's a rant. Did I call it a review in the beginning? I don't know what I said. What did I call this thing? I don't know. Anyway, it's a rant. It's a video that I wasn't even going to do. I just hopped on, turned on the camera. My wife's got the good dinner going. And she said, are you doing a video tonight, baby? And I said, well... I don't think so. I'm going to work on Thursday nights into the Badlands video tonight. Maybe I'll do some of the prep work for that, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to shoot anything. And then I'm scrolling through Netflix and I see it and I say, listen, yeah, I'm going to do a video tonight. I got to hop on and talk about Iron Fist. I got to get it out. <laughs> Woo, boy. I, 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 I don't know, man. I was not digging this show at all. Anyway, thank you so much as always for stopping by. Listen, if you are not a part of the community, consider hitting that subscribe button. We do get into comic books, comic book movies. We just love movies, period. But we are huge, huge fans of Into the Badlands. One of the top missions of this channel is to make that show a household name here on YouTube, and we cover it heavily. You'll see some videos linked up at the end of this about that show. Make sure you check those videos out as well. So what did you think, you guys? Did you like Iron Fish? Yes, no, maybe mm, it was okay. What did you think? Let's get some discussion going on about that in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much. As always, like, comment, share, and I will see you tomorrow night for Thursday night's Into the Badlands video. Peace.